Hello and welcome to the unit tutorial for Science Year 2, Year 3 Habitats, and this is video part 1. This unit tutorial will be in two parts, during which I will walk you through the unit so you come out being confident in how to access the resources, the content of the unit and how to make any adaptations for your class. So we'll walk you through the following areas. What resources are available and how to access them, the unit's disciplinary and substantive concepts, and the unit sequence of learning. There are many resources available for this unit on Oxford L. The science progression document, the teacher subject knowledge guide, the unit planning guidance, PowerPoint slides for every lesson, pupil workbook, the ebook workbook online, additional resources to go alongside the lessons, and the pupil knowledge guide. To access the resources, log into Oxford OWL, click on subscriptions and the subject and year groups you want. You can scroll through all the resources or use the drop down tabs to let the year group and unit. And here you'll find all the resources you need to teach that unit. Here's how this unit connects to other units for the prior and future learning. A bullet point list of the progression and linking facts can be found in the unit planning guidance. This is the lesson sequence for this unit. There are 10 lessons in this unit, which are approximately two hours each. Each lesson question drives the learning for that lesson. People should be able to answer lesson question based on their new learning at the end of the lesson. To support this new learning, at the start of each lesson, pupils complete a knowledge quiz based entirely on the previous lesson's learning. This also allows opportunities for teachers to check for understanding and address any misconceptions before going forward. Every lesson ends with two exit questions, which also allow teachers to judge the understanding of pupils before moving on to the next lesson. To prepare to teach a unit, we recommend you read to the prepare to subject knowledge guide. Unit, we recommend a unit planning guidance, subject to guide. any upcoming trips read to the unit planning guidance, and any resources, upcoming trips as well as the future and prior learning links. resources. And use a copy and use of a the pupil work pupil workbook, workbook to complete to yourself. To tease yourself. We'd recommend We'd recommend using a pupil workbook as a teacher copy to do this. We provide the answers for each activity, but working through the activities yourself will allow you to put yourself in your pupils' shoes, as well as, as, well as starting the, the process of working out what adaptations you may need to be made. Before you start video part two, before you start video take some part time two, to complete your exam time to complete each of the lesson activities, and we'll see you back for part we'll two, or we'll look at adaptations in the unit to prepare for.